What's up today my fellow Madden soldiers? So what I'm gonna be speaking on right now is about how I changed my playbook. And honestly, I didn't plan on changing my playbook. I actually was in the auction block just looking at things. I don't know if I was looking at play, I don't know what happened, but I just stumbled a pro, uh, across the actual playbook that actually striked my curiosity. And it actually caught costs quite more than the regular playbook. So I was like, you know, I'm gonna go ahead and buy this and see what this is about. I thought it was just gonna be like, no, no, something like real, real good. Um, and it happened to work out for me, but I don't think it's like a big difference from the actual playbook that, I mean, if I already get the original playbook of it. And right now I'm gonna show you exactly what it is. And maybe you guys can enlighten me because I still don't know the difference because I checked both of the playbooks out and to me i didn't see much of a difference but maybe there's a reason why it costs so much so maybe you guys can help enlighten, enlighten me and i'm going to share with you why i'm using it now and why it was actually a good decision and i probably didn't even have to pay that much for the playbook but i did because it strikes my curiosity but anyways so let's go over here i'm going to actually show you what it is it's better to show you some guys may know some guys may not um but the thing is i do need your guys help if you guys know i need your help on actually explain to me what the heck this is because i was googling it i was looking it up and i didn't get an answer i should have posted it and asked people and i didn't though but so i'm just gonna ask you guys i believe you guys will know so it's right here it's cowboys offense and it says on the bottom it says dallas and it says um offense live so this is a live playbook i don't know if that means that whenever the cowboys change one of their offensive schemes or something like that it automatically goes into the play playbook i have no idea i don't know what this is what that means um but i'm pretty sure there's one of you guys out there who actually knows i'm, I'm very confident that the, that one of you guys are going to respond to me and one of you guys are gonna be like hey this is what it is um it's a this it's that you know whatever the case may be but whatever it is it cost me let me see did, would it take me to it cost me t about 20, 20 something K. So we're going to show you right now. I'm going to go to the actual playbook because it's an elite playbook. I didn't even know the Dallas Cowboys had an elite playbook. I didn't even know when that actually came in game because I'm not one to actually go look for playbooks. And the reason why is because I'm cool with what I have. There's alternate offense that I didn't care for. Alternate defense I didn't care for. I still have them. I just have them in the lineup. My main offense that I used before that was uh, uh, 49ers. And my defense is the Lions, which I still use right now. So anyways, as you can tell, I'm going to show you the cost of it. Um, and you can't even find it in the actual auction house no more. You see that? It's like it's out. But when it was in the auction house, it was probably like three or four of them. But anyway, the thing was, I bought it for like 20, 20K. Someone was going for like 25K. They didn't go for that much. But at the time, I didn't have a lot of coins. So I was like, man, should I really get this? But like I said, it struck my curiosity. So I bought it. And uh, it actually worked out. And then I went to the actually uh, the practice mode to see if there's a difference between the playbooks. And honestly, I didn't see much of a difference. So I'm assuming that maybe it's a live playbook, meaning that whenever the Dallas Cowboys have a new player, something that they add into their or incorporate into their book, maybe we automatically get it. I have no idea. The thing is, I know it costs 20,000 coins and I bought it. So that's what it worked out for me. So anyways, I'm going to go to one of these challenges real quick. And, um, and I'm going to show you what I use and why it's good for me. Remember, I'm, I'm using a mobile QB. I'm using a mobile QB right now. So me using a mobile QB, this actually really helped me out, which I didn't think in the beginning um, was gonna help me out. Like I said, the, the 49er playbook to me was perfect. It worked out perfect. It had a lot of plays that I like. But now that I'm actually using Randall Cunningham, I'm gonna tell you right now, this Dallas Cowboy playbook works a lot better uh, for me. And I'm pretty sure there's other playbooks that you guys have out there that's probably even better than the Dallas Cowboy playbook that I haven't even used yet. But I'm just saying for right now, because I, I switched my playbooks with the mobile QB that it works perfect with. Oh man, I'm winning like a lot more games. I'm able to do like certain plays that I couldn't do with the 49er playbook because it didn't have certain plays in it. So right now I'm going to show you the, the main plays that I use. So let's go over here. We're going to go to a single back and we're going to go to ace and we're going to go to uh, halfback stretch arc. Okay, so I use a lot of halfback uh I mean, I use a stretch, you know what I mean? Because I, you know, I got some good, I got some good halfbacks. So this, because, because I was looking for another one to supplement what I use in the San Francisco playbook. So I found this one here in the actual playbook and I actually utilize it. I usually go up here and I usually go like that. So I'm going to send it down right there because I'm just actually showing you what I, what I use, my main play. So I use that out of there and then I go to gun and out of gun, what I use is right here, the read option. 
I'm telling you right now, all year I'm gonna be honest with you. I, if you go look at my my actual gameplays, I never used read, 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 read option. I never used it. But with the mobile QB, you guys well know that this is one of the best plays out there right now. You guys have to know that. Cause check this out. He act like he's gonna pass it and he's gonna run up the middle. Okay, so we're gonna go. And he's gonna go this way, that way. Look, how, look at it. I'm just gonna go back around because I was just showing you that play. I don't wanna have to make a touchdown right now. So we're just gonna go ahead and uh, down it right there. But this is a play right here that I found that actually really helped me out because after I ran it, if I wanted to trick him and do a QB run, I can. And a lot of the times, I'm gonna tell you right now, Randall Cunningham does a fumble at times. But usually on the first and second run, he won't. But just know at times he does. And so that helped me out a lot. And because you have a mobile, that's the reason why you have a mobile QB, right? So you can be able to run with the ball. Because the other reason why, why would you have them? So with that being said, I was able to do some um, plays. I got some highlights for you guys too that I'm going to be able to show you guys. But see, the th look at Randall Cunningham. Look at Because he has the jukebox. He has, because he has jukebox, he has human joystick, he has so much stuff to him, it makes him even better when it comes to read options. So keep that in mind. A big reason why this read option is good um, is because Randall Cunningham has a lot of stuff to him that the average quarterback don't have. Okay, so Mike Vick, Dak Prescott, they're good too when it actually comes to the read option. Don't get me wrong, but I could do a lot more with Randall Cunningham because he has that um, evasive. I'm sorry, yeah, he has jukebox too because he has evasive, he has human joystick and so forth. So, see so yeah, that? He's able to do all that. So, anyways, I'm gonna show you another play of mine that that I, that I like. So, what, what am I gonna do? So, let, let's 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 uh, let me just take it back. Okay, let, let me go over here. I'm gonna restart it and go from the beginning. So, I'm gonna show you another play. There's like three plays that I actually use that um, this actually I really enjoy. So, it's Shark Halfback Will. So on this one right here, I usually hit Emma Smith if he's open. If he's not, I usually go for Cooper. I know this is the crazy route for Cooper, but this Cunningham, this solo is like, you know, it, it's not like a hard solo, but I'm gonna show you right now how, this arm that Cunningham has. Look, I'm gonna let him go way out there and I'm just gonna throw it. Look how far this guy could throw. Look how far he could throw. This guy, you seen how, how far he was. A lot of other QBs, they'll probably under throw it. He could throw pretty far. And when I do these highlights for you, when it comes to Randall Cunningham, you're going to see that actually in game. You're gonna, This play right here that you see right here, the reason why I'm showing you guys this, so when you actually see his highlights, you, you know why already. I explained it to you guys on why I use those. So I'm going to go way back here, and I'm just going to throw it. Look how far this guy could throw. Look at that. That was pretty far right there. Like I said, other QBs who don't have that strong throw power cannot do that. So I'm going to go ahead and go return the challenges. I just felt that I, I, I wanted to share that with you guys to let you guys know that I stumbled across this playbook. And not just that. Um, it may not even have to be the live one. It's just a Dallas Cowboy playbook. You go buy the Dallas Cowboy playbook if you want to use it. And it has some good plays in there that I actually use. The live version of it, I'm assuming that whenever Dallas Cowboys, whenever they have like a new play that they add to the book, maybe we get it. Like I said, I don't know what that is. You don't have to buy the live one. I bought it and it happened to work out for me. Not because it was a live one, but because it was a Dallas Cowboy playbook and the actual plays in there I was, I was able to utilize for my mobile QB. So it actually really worked out. I'm really enjoying that new playbook right now. And I want to share that with you guys. And I want to show you some of my favorite plays in that playbook. Like I said, you, I'm pretty sure you guys have your favorite plays ready. But to me, the reason why it was a big thing, because I actually use San Francisco playbook all year long. I barely changed my playbook. I didn't use no other playbook. So to me, it was big because it was hard for me to find another playbook that actually was going to suit me and my team. And right now, this suited me because I actually got a mobile QB. So... Let's go over here before I end this. I'm just going to go ahead and finish my uh, dailies. I mean, because I already, I already did uh, two wins. So we finished my dailies. See if we pull anything glitchy, and then I'm going to go ahead and end it. Sometimes I do. You know what I mean? You never know. So let me back out. So here it is. Ten thousand. The other day I put twenty thousand. Look at it. they're giving us ten thousand a day. That's actually pretty good. That was more than last year. Last year only they gave us at the end when it was level nine nine. They only gave us seventy five hundred guaranteed. Now they're giving us ten ten k guarantee. 
But anyways, like I said, man, I appreciate you guys tuning in. I appreciate all the support you guys are giving me. I wanted to let you guys know that I changed my playbook out. It's working for me. If you guys have any any uh idea of what that actual the the Dallas Cowboy Live playbook is, um, why is it different from the actual regular Dallas Cowboy playbook? Let me know because it does cost 20k coins. So, anyways, I'm gonna leave it right here. Thank you guys all for tuning in. If you guys like what you've seen, drop a like. If you guys didn't sub, sub to the channel. There will be more great amazing content coming your way. Thank you guys all for tuning in. I'm out.